Yeah. Locally known as the Maracanã, like the Brazilian one. 90,000 Yugoslavs, they must have thought it was virtually all over, but Bayern, so experienced, are coming back at them. The corner, and here comes that boy, Stutz again, and that was a free header. And that could have easily levelled the whole tie up. Well, Red Star are starting to live dangerously. It all looks so easy for them, but that mistake by Stojanovic, the goalkeeper, has started to really get the nerves jangling in here. This is Savicevic. Here's the corner again. It's taken by Schwabel. Bent back nicely, beats everybody. It doesn't beat Thomas Strunz. And his header will be disappointed that he didn't find that far corner of the net. But Bayern now have the bit between their teeth. is the blonde-haired Eppenberg, who's finding a lot of room and starting to create things. Bender, chance, 2-1, and 3-3 overall. Oh, what a turnaround in the space of a couple of minutes. Bayern Munich have suddenly, from nowhere, squared this whole tie-up at 3-3, and that really was... Some very, very sloppy play again in that Yugoslav defence. I think it bounces off Morovic to Bender. Was there a hint of an offside there? Doesn't matter, the flag stays down. Bayern Munich lead 2-1 on the night, and with two away goals, it's now 3-3. If it stays like this, it'll go to extra time and penalties. Yugoslav sides, of course, over the years have so often flattered to deceive in the big competitions, including the national side, although uh, Red Star themselves did reach the UEFA Cup final in 79, losing to Borussia on that occasion. But no side from Yugoslavia has ever reached the Champions Cup final. Now then, here's Mihalovic who scores. Surely he's not going to try his luck from here, is he? He is! Oh, and he nearly scored! Well, that would have been a remarkable goal. He's some player, this 22-year-old midfield star in his first season with the club, and really only a poor Gascon or somebody would have dared try this luck from here, but didn't he catch this well? Skidded on the turf, and I'm not sure Alman really had it covered. Petrovic, coach to Red Star, these are nervous moments for him now. He's seen it all thrown away. Good cross back here. Pancho, finish. Oh, lovely turn from him. And so close. A tall, lanky striker almost made something out of nothing there. Had two defenders all around him. And he turned so quickly. Good cross that from Radinovic. Panchev did well to knock it back like that. And Binic on the spin, not far away. Time beginning to run out here. Extra time is looming. Bayern Munich 2 1 up here, having looked well on their way out. This is a good run again from Savicevic, and it's going to be a free kick. They can't really cope with Savicevic, this Bayern defence. When he runs at the defenders, they're having kittens, frankly. Rosinecki dreaming of a Champions Cup appearance. There he is with a low shot, and Alman got down so well. Panchev tries to get it back in. Eppenberg is there. Well, what a game this is now. Really tremendous atmosphere, the whole tie teetering on a knife edge. The next goal surely will decide it. And we may have to go to extra time. Prozenetsky with the corner now for Red Star. Goes a long way, Alman doesn't really cover it, and Panchev, well, if he could have somehow just got his head to that one, that might have been the goal Red Star wanted. down the line for Laudrup now. Laudrup, oh, that's nicely worked inside. Ton again, beautiful move, Volfart, he's onside, hits the post, and oh, it just about avoids Eppenberg off the post. Bayern Munich were this close to a place in the European Cup final. Volfart, lovely run, showed up beautifully for Tone, who found him superbly, and it hits the post, but Bayern are rampant at the moment. They can suddenly scent that they can turn this whole thing around. It's 
Christian Marovic, who got it away. But Bayern are pressing, pressing, pressing now. Here's Tone. But they won't get the goal they need with shots like that. I think, to be fair to Tone, it hit a little bobble on the turf. We're into the last five minutes now. Listen to this crowd trying to get behind Red Star to urge them into the Champions Cup final. But it looks as if it might turn into one of those stories that might have been again, doesn't it, for Red Star? Unless Savicevic has other ideas. He often does. This is lovely stuff from him. Look at this run from Savicevic. Good tackle that from Reuter, but Prozanetsky's there, looking to burst in the penalty area. The defenders are there. Off Alcantara. Oh, mistake from the goalkeeper it skidded crazily off the boot of Algantala who's now scored at both ends the veteran Bayern skipper and with seconds to go would you believe it Red Star level it on the night and go ahead again in the tie unbearable excitement here the crowd look as if they want to invade the pitch right now to celebrate but it isn't over yet Savicevic with another of these great runs of his. It looked like Reuter had got it away, but Prozanetsky was there. Another good tackle and covering from the German defence. It was put in by Mihalovic. Bad touch by Algenthaler, but really, Alman, it was a routine tip over the bar for any top-class goalkeeper. And this, really, he'll feel as if he wants a trapdoor that comes out in somewhere like Tristan de Kuna when he looks back at this. The referee is looking at his watch. Red Star Belgrade defend desperately. Bayern attack desperately. Is there going to be one last slice of drama with Volfar? No. Red Star. Is that a free kick? No, it's not. It's the final whistle. And Red Star Belgrade go into the Champions Cup final after a quite terrific match here. So exciting. Despair for Effenberg and for Bayern, who looked as if they turned things around with two goals in a couple of minutes. But Red Star, with that crazy own goal in the last moments, win to spark a national celebration in Yugoslavia. Firecrackers going off all around. TV men from all around Europe watching to interview the Red Star players. And don't forget, still to come, Roma against Brombu, Juventus against Barcelona, after an unforgettable match here in Belgrade. Do stay with us, more excitement still to come. So that's the scene here. The celebrations, I promise you, are going to last all night. Red Star have made it to the final. Could it be the aerodynamic styling or ABS braking? Or perhaps the handy hatchback? Or the full-time four-wheel drive? Or the sporty 16-valve fuel-injected engine and catalytic converter? Whatever the reason, the Daihatsu Applause provides a rather complete, not to say unique, driving experience. Daihatsu, from Japan. Manolo, frequent, with just his hair, he does the impossible, and with him, there's Sector. Sector, no limits. When you find yourself in some place new, just remember me. Just keep thinking sure And everywhere you go You're not alone And in the morning light The bridge between you and happiness Sharp Friesland so unverwechselbar macht, ist sein herber, ursprünglicher Charakter. 
wie das Land, so das Jever. Jever Pilsener, Frieselscherb. Wann entdecken Sie den Frieselscherbengenuss? The eight most powerful ice hockey nations in the world are facing off in Finland and fighting for the world title. The next big match is the Soviet Union versus Canada. Thursday evening at 6, 5 UK on Eurosport in association with AGFA. Welcome back and now we concentrate on the UEFA Cup semi-final second leg between Roma and Brombu from the Stadio Olimpico. The sides level at nil-nil after the first leg. Remember, 12 months ago, two Italian teams contested the final of this competition. Brombru are trying to ensure that Roma don't make it through from this semi-final to a possible meeting with Internazionale. Well, Brombu are at full strength for this semi-final meeting, but they include Henry Jensen in their number eight shirt in favour of Jens Madsen, who's one of their substitutes. Roma's big injury worry surrounded their leading goal scorer Rudi Voller on the right of your picture who's hit nine UEFA Cup goals so far. Voller's been out for the last ten days with a calf injury. Roma make one change from the first leg. Carboni is replaced by Antonio Comi in defence, the side captain by Giuseppe Giannini. Roma then bidding for their first European final in seven years, are playing in the red strip, playing from left to right in the first half. Plenty of animation down on the Roma bench. Man who knocked it square was Brian Jensen. And that's the first real shot on goal by either side. It came from number eight, Henrik Jensen, the man who's come into the side today, the 31-year-old midfield player. Still Roma nil, Brombu nil. A big expectant crowd. In this Stadio Olimpico, the scene, of course, of last summer's World Cup final. Mitsitelli, good pass out here, looking for Bertold. Bertold with a cross to the far post, and there's nobody there, and Bjarne Jensen should clear up. But they haven't cleared the danger yet, and Schmeichel with an important catch underneath his crossbar. Lars Olsen. John Jensen. Roma sprung the offside trap, but it didn't quite work. And in the end, Aldair had to save Roma's blushes. Incidentally, Roma bidding for their second cup final of the season. They're already through to the Italian cup final, where they'll play Sampdoria. Henrik Jensen now did well. Pingo. Needs a little bit of support, Rasmussen trying to get there. Didn't quite come off for Brombu, but they're pushing Roma all the way. Rasmussen again down that left-hand side. Roma claimed the ball was out, but the linesman didn't raise his flag. And Brombu's still in possession. Bent Christiansen with a back heel. And he takes over again, Christiansen, that was a good cross. And in the end, it was Comi who has to get it clear. It's been an uncertain first half for Roma, who break now with Di Mauro. There's a fair-looking pass, couldn't find Rizzitelli. And Brombu smothered the danger. Free kick then to Roma, which Desideri will take. They're calling for it on the far post. Nela now. Oh, Schmeichel didn't get hold of it. The first mistake the Brombu goalkeeper has made. And Voller just couldn't take advantage inside the six-yard box. Good free-kick movement, this, by the Italians. Came through a ruck of players, and Schmeichel just fumbled it away. Rizzitelli. Naylor again, Schmeichel's fumbled it too, Di Mauro, Rizzitelli, 1-0 Roma! <laughs> 34 minutes into 
this UEFA Cup semi-final second leg. And Rizzi Telly heads Roma towards the final. Schmeichel perhaps to blame. Di Mauro was there first. And so too was Rizzi Telly's head. The first goal in two hours between these two sides. Remember the first leg ended at nil-nil and it's taken half an hour to break the deadlock in the Stadio Olimpico. The speed of Di Mauro here was the undoing of Brombu. We've had ten minutes of the second half. Roma won, Brombu nil in this UEFA Cup semi-final second leg. And it's all looking good for the Italians at the moment. Di Mauro with a sterling run now. Hauled back by Bjorn Jensen. Kim Vilfort uh, having a say to the referee. And it looks as though he's booked Kim Vilfort here. And Vilfort would miss the final of the competition if Brombu were to go through, because he's already picked up one booking in the UEFA Cup this season, although the original offender was Bjorn Jensen with this foul here on Di Mauro. So, free kick to Roma. Nela can strike them from here. Here he is! Oh! -ho! No more than a foot away from a second Roma goal. And the picture shows how close he was. Pingle. Missing Brian Jensen. Oh, Roma are in trouble. And an own goal by Antonio Comi. Well, this is the man who created it for Brombu. He just killed one in with his left foot. The goalkeeper raced off his line. And Comi got the touch. And Naylor just couldn't keep it out. Well, maybe the goalkeeper was to blame here. There was a lack of understanding between defender and goalkeeper. But all it means is that Brombu have a vital away goal. It's Roma 1, Brombu 1. And if it stays like that, Brombu would go through to their first ever UEFA Cup final. So the free kick goes the way of Roma. They've had a few in this second half. And Lars Olsen, the captain, is going to be booked here. And Brombu will have some defending to do, because Roma, when they need a goal, are very, very dangerous indeed. Desideri lining himself up for the shot. They've gone close now with two of these free kicks. Well, Roma pushing a lot of players forward now. And they've been caught out here. That was over the head of number six, Comi. Christiansen. Well, Savoni did well. But another Brombu goal now would mean the end for Roma. Comi. Desideri. The crowd doing all they can to encourage Roma to go forward. Giannini. Comi, number six. Wide to Giannini. They're queuing up for the cross now. Rudy Voller over his head. Rizzi Telly can't get there. Might come through to Nela. Good cross there. It still hasn't been cleared. Di Mauro. Oh, Brombo will have to do better if they're going to defend this lead. It's simply a question of how much pressure Brombu can soak up between now and the end of this game and whether their nerve can hold. 1-1 on the night but that vital away goal, an own goal in this match, is enough to take Brombu through if they can hang on. Worried face of Ottavio Bianchi, the coach of Roma. Desideri with the header. 
Still 1-1, remember. Rudy Vola. Just trying to find half a yard to shoot. And I think uh, Henry Jensen just giving Rudy Vola a piece of his mind. Claiming that Vola is involved in a little bit of play acting and histrionics there. Another free kick. Good save by Schmeichel. Corner then to Roma. They're pressing everybody forward now. Bertold. And the referee is reaching for his yellow card once again. Well, that really was very, very dramatic. Good header in from Bertolt. But Henry Jensen did ever so well to clear that one off the line. Roma turning the screw. Voller, that's surely his handball. Bertold and Voller both involved. And the referees awarded Roma a corner. Well, for my money, Rudy Voller handled this one there. Bertold with a flick on. Desideri! Schmeichel with the save. It just isn't going to go in for Roma. Well, they're certainly worried down on the bench because Brombu, two minutes away from a place in the UEFA Cup final. The first Danish side to qualify for a semi-final. They're very close now. Giannini. Brombu with a lot of players behind the ball. That one floated in, looking for Bertol. Nela. It's come off the goalkeeper, Vola scores! Two minutes from time, Rudy Vola, with his 10th UEFA Cup goal, has sent Roma surely now to the final of the competition. They can't believe it here in the Stadio Olimpico. So close to defeat, Rudy Vola, Europe's outstanding marksman, has shot them into the final now. And the man who's been out for 10 days with a calf injury looked anything but injured when he beat Rizzitelli, his own man, to the ball to score Roma's second goal. It's Roma 2, Brombu 1. So we're playing stoppage time at the end of the game and you feel a great deal of sympathy for Brombu, because Roma are through to the UEFA Cup final. It's their third European final. The previous two have been contested in some part here at the Stadio Olimpico, and that will go for the UEFA Cup final next month. Well, still plenty of football to come here on Cup Night after the break. From the Cup Winners' Cup semi-final, it's Juventus against Barcelona. Could it be the aerodynamic styling or ABS braking? Or perhaps the handy hatchback? Or the full-time four-wheel drive? Or the sporty 16-valve fuel-injected engine and catalytic converter? Whatever the reason, the Daihatsu Applause provides a rather complete, not to say unique, driving experience. Daihatsu, from Japan.
topsport is pijn. Woede. Onmacht. Pressie. Traan. Vernedering. En topsport is het mooiste wat er is. Lees Sport International. Elke maand alles over topsport. Now my head is reading, dancing the night away. Bring your black. Tropical paradise, magic test makes it easy. Easy. Premium black rum from Bacardi. Mm -hmm. Premium black rum from Bacardi. Black rum from Bacardi. Every week, Gridiron wraps up the World League of American Football, analyzes the important plays, studies the stats, the facts, and the fumbles. Keep in touch with the touchdowns. Gridiron, Friday night at 7, 6 UK, on Eurosport. Welcome back to Cup Night on Eurosport and to the European Cup Winners' Cup semi-final in Turin. What an occasion to savour. Juventus against Barcelona, two genuine heavyweights of European football. Barcelona defending a 3-1 lead from the home leg after an exhilarating second-half display at the new Camp, which means Juventus must win 2-0 tonight in this highly charged, volatile atmosphere in the Del Alpa Stadium. It's all-out attack for a desperate Juventus side, but no place in their starting lineup for the out-of-favour World Cup hero Toto Scilacci. Baggio, Casiraghi and Hessler, all the other flair players are included. With Baggio warning Barcelona this is the night he'll justify the millions that Juventus have invested in him. A positive approach from Juventus will leave them vulnerable, of course, to the pace of Barcelona's counter-attacks. The Bulgarian striker, Stoichkov, the man they'll fear most, along with Laudrup and Becquero, who's returning after injury. Barcelona kicking from right to left in the first half. A place in the European Cup Winners' Cup final awaiting them the winners of this epic confrontation. And Barcelona, by their own admission, very much the favourites, but facing a Juventus side whose entire season rests on this one game. Stoichkov for Barcelona. Juventus determined to prevent the Dutch master, Johan Cruyff, from reaching his third final in this competition in five years. Stoichkov, who scored twice in the first leg. And he has now won the free kick, which Koeman will take for Barcelona. Away by Julio Cesar, the Brazilian. Koeman again, his foot was high then. And he caught Casiraghi. So tempers beginning to flare right at the start of this match. Casiraghi, who gave Juventus the lead in the new cap after a total misunderstanding between Ferrer and goalkeeper Zubi Zaretta. Galia's pass. Casiraghi. It goes Hessler. Now Marocchi. And away for the corner by Amor. Corini, the man replacing Scalacci in the side. Here's Baggio. Julio Cesar. And safely in the arms of Zubi Zaretta, the captain of Barcelona. There's Gigi Maifredi, the coach of Juventus, who's under some pressure to hold on to his job. Now, De Agostini. So much purpose about Juventus in the early stages here. De Agostini, member of the Italian World Cup squad, of course, and one of their best players in Italia 90. Kuman. This is Sola. Something of a surprise inclusion in the Barcelona side, but they are without Nando, who's suspended. Sola, a player with terrific pace.
pace. Baggio finding Hessler. Some space for him here, but no test for Zubi Zaretta. Although I think he wanted his defenders to close Hessler down rather quicker than that. Hessler, who played in the World Cup final winning side for West Germany. Laudrup, former Juventus player, of course. This is Amor. Now fed up. Diagostini wants to take the throw quickly. A lot of urgency, as you'd expect, about Juventus. And they need the fillet now of an early goal. Gallia. Fortunato. It's Baggio taking on Ferro. And showing lightning pace there. And the cross, though, too long for Hessler. Corini. This is Napoli. And Stoichkov away for Barcelona. And they were a little fortunate to survive then. All Juventus for the moment. Corini. 20-year-old with a lot of promise. So much depending on this game for Juventus. They've fallen away in the race for the Italian Championship. Fourth in the league, 11 points behind the leaders, Sampdoria. In contrast, of course, Barcelona, some way clear at the top of the Spanish league. This is Kuman now driving forward. Sola. Good tackle, though, initially by Gallia. Then Carini lost it. Amor. Free kick to Barcelona. Stoichkov. And exchanging smiles. But he's won the free kick. Trying to shake off Napoli. Kuman. Good effort. And a fine save then by Tacconi. Who's been suffering from a very heavy cold this week, Tacconi. But he showed no ill effects there to beat away the shot from Koeman. Casiraghi with Baggio trying to open up the Barcelona defence. The hitter from Hessler, superbly saved by Zubi Zoretta. One of, if not the tiniest players on the field, Hessler. And he went in bravely then. And Zubi Zaretta fully extended. And Scilacci is coming on. Five minutes, just over five minutes of the first half to go. And Casiraghi going off. He may well have an injury. And a roar around the ground. Scilacci, leading goal scorer, of course, in the World Cup finals. But he hasn't scored a league goal for Juventus since November. And he's been really in disappointing form. And a free kick to Juventus. A foul on Baggio. Who himself has been having a bit of a lean time lately. And there have been questions raised about his future with Juventus. Hessler with the free kick. And Zubi Zaretta somehow just managed to turn it wide. And Zubi Zaretta has rescued his team on quite a few occasions already in this second leg. Deflected off Stoichkov, and Zubi Zaretta did so well. Skelacci's corner. Over the top from Hessler. Diagostini. Hessler to Marocchi. Juventus pouring forward now. Skelacci. Relentless pressure on the Barcelona goal. Marocchi! And Zubi Zaretta is there once again. But surely this pounding is going to produce a goal eventually. Good work by Scilacci. And it's Marocchi who fires it through. And there, the save from Zubi Zaretta. Baggio, Scilacci. 
Riding one tackle, Kuman caught him, and no more. Kuman was the first offender. There's a yellow card, whether that's for Moore or Kuman, I'm not sure. The Swiss referee, Rotlethberger. And all Scalacci gets for his efforts there is a free kick. Battling run from Scalacci. So determined to prove his critics wrong, and he's had many of those this season. Now Baggio, and it's there! At last, a goal for Juventus, and it's Baggio who scored it with that devastating free kick. The completely outfoxed Zubi Zaretta. He's been a hero tonight, the Spanish goalkeeper, but this time no answer to the sheer expertise of Baggio. An hour gone, and at last a goal. But my friend, he knows they need another one. It's 3-2 on aggregate, Juventus leading by a goal to nil on the night. The target is two. Baggio, Koeman, who collided with him, Amor, and he's in trouble now, lashing out. And the referee trying to sort it all out, and he may well be thinking about a red card here, because Amor, I think, was cautioned earlier on, and it is indeed a red card for Amor. Scalacci caught by Amor, who then kicked him to compound the felony. So whether the referee decided uh, that offence was serious enough on its own to send him off, or he'd given him the yellow card earlier, we're not too sure, but Amor, that is for certain, is taking no further part in this game. Barcelona, down to ten men. As Amor walks disconsolately away. Now Julio Cesar, this is Di Canio, the other substitute for Juventus. Baggio! So close! Baggio cursing his luck. It's a lovely piece of skill. Curled beyond Zubi Zaretta and just past the post. Barcelona hanging on grimly now. Ferrer. This is Hessler. Scalacci in the middle. This is Baggio. Oh, Marocchi missing his kick. And Zubi Zaretta had that one covered all the way. Always going wide. of the goal, Scalacci it was who failed to apply the final touch, Fortunato with the cross and Barcelona now living very very dangerously indeed superb turn then by Fortunato and look how close Scalacci was to making the decisive contact Julio Cesar Still Juventus, captain the Barcelona half. They need one more goal. Baggio is away from Ferrer. Well, he was for a moment. That'll be a, another yellow card, I'm sure. And a free kick to Juventus right on the edge of the area. Exquisite skill then from Baggio. And Ferrer really had no answer to him. Baggio with the free kick. Oh! Well, that was quite astonishing. Zubi Zaretta had strayed off his line. Baggio spotted the chance. And just look here how close he was to that elusive second goal. A really spirited display by Juventus. And still attacking Barcelona from all angles. Baggio. 
Gallier. Now for Hessler. Di Canio, Marocchi. Facing this vast Barcelona defence. De Agostini. Still De Agostini. And it's into the side netting from Fortunato. And Juventus wondering now just what they have to do to score again. Glorious interchange of passes, Scalacci, and then Fortunato. So in injury time now. Barcelona almost there. Time perhaps for one last assault here from Juventus. Scalacci goes down. Here's Hessler with Sola and Zubi Zareta saves Kuman away and that's it now surely Steve Staunton 